our wonderful seats. Hallelujah. A duet. I have yet to sing a song or I yet to play this song. It is Vanessa of Teja Related to giving the beat. But the title of my message will be Set the Standard. Amen. Set the Standard. You know, when I say it to this song, I had to impress in some way. I knew it's one of What were you doing? Were you, were, you were tuning? Yes, I was. What about if you just play what happens? <laughs> so, so you tune in the match. How? First time gone. So, you know what? Siba Nesami! What will you press? Which button will you press? Do you hear what he's saying? You cannot just press the keyboard. You must tune the keyboard. Our lives, we, we, we don't just have to walk. You have to tune in. Mfuna utu unga tune manjane. Yes. But I want you to play the music. Just play. Jerusalem. <laughs> But somewhere we also missed the what? The pitch. Do. I want you to tune now. Do you understand?
tune your life. Hallelujah. Amen. Tune your life. Hmm? Amen. Tune your life. If you tune your life, not your thought, it's just a wonderful melody. Hallelujah. Many people's lives are not tuned. That's why it being. Bob Makata, you have to tune your life. You balance the baraton, you balance the alto, you balance the tenor, you balance the, 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 the vocalist part. And when you place everything, must balance. Well tuned. Many people, we start a life, we move a life, we live a life which is not tuned. And that's why it is a problem. My life and your life need. Remember, it needs what? It needs tuning. Eh? We have to tune it. We balance the way all the beats have to. When the bass sound comes to the alto, they must agree with each other. I don't know how many patterns are in this thing. Maybe Mr. Juba says he plays it, he knows. But I can see many patterns. Those patterns were all meant to agree with each other. If you learn to choose a pattern and understand what other pattern will complement it, a good sound comes out. Not just the, the drum part of it throughout, no. This thing is played in so many tones. High pitched, low pitched, bass sound, but they all produce a good sound. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. My life and your life, when it's at a stage of the baritone, the bass sound, and at the time whereby the sound is tender, your life must still prove that it's tuned. Someone understanding what I'm saying. When someone understands the period of the and as long as your life is not tuned, your life will be discord. And it's very important that you understand how your life needs to be tuned. And a life can only be tuned by you who understands it. This keyboard, if you give it to Pastor Fisi, you know when he was sharing here, you could tell that this is a preacher. Give him the keyboard and say tune it. You will hear another sound. So the keyboard is tuned by he who understands it. Amen. If in your life, the tuning of your life needs ye who understands you. And that is God. You need Jesus to tune your life. If Jesus does not tune you, you cannot tune yourself. I haven't started my message anyway. I just want to take a reference. There is a same one I preached on the 28th of November, 2021, where I say it, you must dress appropriately. You remember? I said you must dress appropriately. And at that moment, I patterned my shirt but uh, my suit with the patterns and people said no you have not patterned appropriately and then i said we need to make sure that we do our things appropriately for the days are very evil i still want to echo the same same sentiment i said it on that day you will send a child to find the bible but the child will come without money for the bread and without the bread. 
because someone will be taking it when they wish. You'll go and wake. And after waking, when you are only away going back home, they will take everything that you have left. Your whole salary you wait for 31 days. They just take it. And I say it, watch that wherever you are, you don't fall into sickness. Because if you get into hospitals, the care which is there is not so friendly. So avoid. And then I said, avoid traveling. The days are evil. Plenty of accidents. And I moved on to say, watch out whatever you do. For the days are evil. And today my message is titled, Set the Standard. Amen. When you are setting the standard, you are tuning in. Set the standard. When I sing a song here, our brother then is able to quickly tune in. He understands the song, then he tunes in. So that the two of us can be able to sing together. Amen. If it does not tune in, there will be discord. We need to tune in with Jesus. If we don't tune in with Jesus, that year will be a sound of a discord. A day of a discord. A week of a discord. A month of a discord. Everything will be a discord. So if you need to have a life that is going to be a sound life, don't move an inch away from Jesus without him giving a tune to your life. Hallelujah. When you tune on Mubarak, I said he who can tune something is he who knows it. If you don't know the keyboard, you can't tune it. If you don't know a guitar, you can't tune it. And you, who is tuning you? Do. Why they cannot tune you? The only one who can tune you is either God, that is Christ, one or the other. Or the devil. Those two can tune you. Who is setting the tone of your life? Tune on by the way. Hallelujah. I say the sermon of today, the title is Setting Standards. People are failures in life today because they don't have the standard. The other day I can't remember. We wanted to buy cookie, then we said, which one do you drink? Which one do you drink? Which one do you drink? Someone said that any young kids in Piatin. No. Your life is not like that. It's not just your kinship. Your life needs the correct tune. And the only person who can tune you very well and will never betray you is Jesus. So if you surrender your life to Jesus, he chooses you. But if you fail to draw nearer to him, and you don't give him that allowance to tune you. The devil does not ask for your permission, it will just come and tune you. You know, kids, sometimes when uh, our brother is playing the keyboard here, someone, a kid can just come and press any other key. 
is normal to me. Internet has prison. And you will hear another sound which shows that no one, now the keyboard is out of tune. When the devil wants to do something about your life, he does not ask for your opinion. The devil just comes and chooses you. Whether you or the devil does not care. Which you need to Anyway, Hebrews 11, verse 1. That's the message of my message today. Hebrews 11, verse 1. We are going to be talking about faith. Mm -hmm. Now faith is the assurance, and my Bible now says, now faith is the substance. Another one says, assurance. Yeah? Now faith is the assurance. When something is an assurance, it is an assurance. Heaven assure this thing is having a truth. So now faith is the substance of truth and assurance, a guarantee. How does that faith? Faith is the substance of a guarantee. When you buy a TV, they tell you we give you a two year. Guarantee. Faith is a substance of a guarantee. It's a guarantee. When something is guaranteed, it simply says, if it doesn't perform to that standard, bring it back. Hallelujah. So faith is a substance of an assurance. What is a substance? is something you can touch. It's a substance. It's an element. Something you can hold is a substance. So faith is a substance. Faith is something at the end result we can touch the end result. What we see with our minds, not with our eyes. Faith does not do anything to do with eyes. What we are seeing, or what we are hearing, or what we are smelling, or what we are tasting. It, it, it's not about faith, it's not that. But faith is all about something that you can see with your spiritual eyes. But tomorrow it can be something, something you can touch, handle, see. Hallelujah. Amen. That's faith. You don't say you have faith when you see something. What you are already seeing is no longer about faith. It is faith when you see it with his spiritual eyes. And then tomorrow it becomes tangible. Then there's faith. today are encouraged. The Bible says, for without faith it is impossible to please God. Yes. Without you having a spiritual eye of what you see, it is impossible to please God. So, 
What is it that you can see? What is it that you are sowing? When you open your spiritual eyes and you say, I am sowing. And from what I'm sowing, I am going to reap. What is it that you are sowing? You cannot have a if you do not sow. That's true. You cannot win if you don't compete. So what is it that you people are sowing in your minds? Okay. You are here today. What is it that you are sowing in your mind that you must see at the end of the year? Uchala. A good farmer, when he wants to plant any crop, he prepares the land. Eh? He prepares the land so that when he plants the seed, it falls on the cultivated land. Then he waters it. Ah, are you planting? of the seeds spiritual seeds that we have how are you preparing that soil ocean de utula magabata pumba yiko chekuchi tonya chala how are you preparing the soil a good farmer will plow the soil. He takes a wreck. He wrecks the soil so that he breaks all those lamps. And afterwards, they put the lines. And then they take the seed. They drop the seed in faith. When they drop the seeds, they don't say, I am wasting. And the good farmer, when he drops a seed, he does not drop it on the top of the soil. <laughs> he opens the fire, then he drops a seed, then he bends the seed. Hallelujah. Some of us, we are good uh, planters. I don't know whether it's a good word. We are good in planting, but we plant right on top of the soil. And what we plant, as soon as we have left, here comes a bed, it picks it up. And when I expect to move something will germinate, it has been eaten by the birds. By faith, we must learn how to lay our seeds. And when you plant your seed, put a fire, open the earth. Drop the seed. Don't be afraid that the seeds we have placed on the ground, you are no longer seeing them. They will germinate. Many people make mistakes when they plant seeds. 
If I just want to touch it, I can't. I have to jump. Amen. Amen. There are things which you must understand that when I pray for this, it looks like the answer is not coming, but I have to jump. I have to fast. I have to set a standard. And then did you see, when he was jumping, he did not go far away. He looked at the height of my hand, and he could tell that if I'm here, I can jump and touch it, setting the standard. What is it that we have set as your standard of 2022? Let's not talk about the tomato seeds, the maize seeds, or the potato seeds. Let's talk about the love seeds, the forgiveness seeds, the peace seeds, the soul winning seeds. What kind of seeds have you stored in your mind? What seeds are in your mind? If those seeds are to germinate, what is it that is germinating from your mind? Hallelujah. Now faith is the substance or the assurance of things hoped for. What is it that you are hoping for in 2022? And what kind of dressing have you geared yourself with to match the occasion? Hallelujah. You see my my son and sister, you see how smart he looks like. He, he looks very smart. Two weeks ago I took him home to do a certain job with them with some other few people. When we were about to start the work, he, he wore another suit. You could tell that this is now the suit for what? For work. People don't understand what to do for what occasion. Okay, if you see him wearing like this and he's busy doing some perfect, you must know there's something wrong. Because one way or the other, he's taken hooked to something and it can affect the way he's working. If a person is going to walk in a place which has got some mud, he has to wear one camp boots. And you can't put on a kick and is a kick and pause. When you want to go and play soccer, you put on the right boots for soccer. This one cannot kick a penalty, this type of a shoe. You will miss. By the time I want to control the ball to go this side, the ball goes that Because you failed to set the standard property. So we as the children of God, we need to set a standard of what we want to do. Hallelujah. Set a standard. Which are seeds are calling and and tell yourself, this is what I want to harvest. You don't have it now. But you plant it and say, this is what I want to have. Hallelujah. And when you plant, you must have faith in God. And then you tell God, God, I'm planting the seeds of peace in 2022. May I live a peaceful life. Amen. Then you walk around and plant peace. God, I'm 
planting lap. In this year, wherever I, I, I walk, may I be a lovely person. Live a lovely life.